to complete the whole circumference of the disk, which has been attributed to the reflection of sunlight bent around the globe by the planet's atmosphere. Many observers have also reported faint lights as visible at times on the dark portion of the planet's disk. These cannot be accounted for by any reflection or reflection of sunlight. Frequently, when we see a crescent moon, the rest of the moon is softly lit. We say, the old moon is in the new moon's arms, which scientists learned was due to sunlight reflected back from the earth to the moon, lighting the part turned away from the sun. But earth is too far from Venus for this phenomenon to occur. The ashen lights of Venus has been attributed to everything from electrical manifestations in the planet atmosphere to an auroral glow caused by intense solar particles, similar to our auroral northern and southern lights. Venus presents no obvious surface markings, nothing but occasionally indefinite shadings. Sometimes, however, when in the crescent phase, intensely bright spots have been reported near the cusps or points of the crescents. From certain irregularities occasionally observed upon the terminator, various observers have concluded that there are hot mountains on the surface. The planet's disk shows no sensible oblateness. No satellite has ever been discovered, not however for want of earnest searching, and no definite rotation period could be ascertained by watching permanent surface markings on the planet's body. Although Venus is a very unsatisfactory telescopic object, it is by this means that an investigation of the above mysteries of Venus is founded and the revelations presented in this abbreviated five-year video documentary.